Hi, I'm planning now to put external wall insulation on my house and that's to keep it warmer during the winter. Now, I've had a few quotes from professionals and they quote around about £10,000. I'm hoping I can do it myself for about £3,000. Trouble is, I've looked online, I've seen lots of videos of how professionals do it, but there's no videos showing the difficulties that I might find doing it myself, so I'm a bit worried. But I'm going to make a video of how I get on and hopefully that will help other people also to do it yourself and have cheap external wall insulation. Now, first problem is to work out how to get all the fixings off the wall so that you can take them off, put the insulation behind them and then fix them back on. Pretty okay this side of the house, but if we go to the front of the house, there's some pipes which are going to need a little bit of work. So this is the particular challenge, this big cast iron pipe here. Now you'll see at the bottom, I've bought some plastic pipe that I'm going to replace it with. That costs £97.50 in total. It's got the toilet at mid-level that comes out there, the toilet at the top that comes into it, and there's also the fixing at the bottom into the drain. So I've got to somehow cut out this metal pipe and replace it with the plastic one that is going to be further away from the wall. Okay, so I've now moved away the plastic piping that was up there. So that exposes the main soil pipe and also this wastewater pipe, which is cast iron, which I'm going to get out of the way first. I've tied that wastewater pipe off. That takes wastewater from the sink in the bathroom. And I'm now going to cut away the attachments to it with this new reciprocating saw that I've bought. I bought that for £40 and another £7 for some replacement blades. easy. Okay I've now cut through both brackets at the top and actually one of the connections at the bottom is just pulled off. It's quite rusted down there and so I've just got to get through this last one and then the whole thing will be off. Well I was just trying to pull this last bracket out by leveraging on this and it snapped the pipe. So in a way that makes things easier but it's a bit of a shame that I've damaged the pipe. Well, it was very easy to get that pipe out in the end. I just pulled the pins out of the wall, you can see here. And then I replaced the whole of that piping with this plastic piping that I got for 13 pounds and five pence, and that just slots in. There's no connections yet, but I'll fix it to the wall when we have the external installation in place. So that was pretty easy. Three things I've learned from that. One is how easy it was to use this reciprocating saw. Secondly, how brittle this pipe is, so I'm going to have to be careful about that when I take off the main pipe. And thirdly, is how heavy this is, which is really not that heavy. It's quite easy to lift two metre sections of that. So I'm going to take this main pipe off in one to two metre sections. Right, I've got the Bantam Tower up now. I did think of using just the ladder, but I wanted a little bit more security when I'm cutting through the pipe up there. I've tied off the pipe at the top as well through both windows, so here goes. Well, it's actually not too bad once you get into it. It goes quite quickly, but I am having trouble getting around the back, and that's why I decided to take off this top bit first so I can get around the back of that. Okay, finally I've got that first section of pipe off. I've got the bottom tied off now, and the top tied off. And it's just dangling there, so I've got to lower it down now. So I've taken off the top bit of pipe now. And you can see that down there. Now I've tied off the second section of pipe. And I'm about to finish cutting through this junction here. So that's it, I've finally got the cast iron pipe down. I made three cuts, one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one in the middle of the pipe. And I learned a couple of things, one is, use a carbide blade on the reciprocating saw. You can see all the bimetal blades I've used here, they went blunt really quickly. It's much quicker and ultimately cheaper with a carbide blade. And the second thing was to use ear protection, because it's actually quite noisy. Right, now I've got to build up the plastic pipe away from the wall. Well, that was actually a lot easier than I expected. You start off at the bottom with a rubber bung, and then you just build it up from there and all the plastic bits just slot together and they have rubber seals in between which makes them watertight. The only slightly difficult bit was the flange there which is done up with jubilee clips and that attaches to the branch off for the toilet on the first floor. Apart from that, 
it was very simple. So in total that cost £196.45 and, and was about 10 hours of labour, although I think if I did it again I could do it in about five. One of the key things I learned there was how important it is to have a carbide blade. That made things a lot easier and actually a bit cheaper as well. And it's a lot quicker than using those bimetal blades. So that's all done now. You can see the beautiful new pipe there. I've taken off the lamps next to the front door and next to the garage as well. The only things left to do are take off that box for the burglar alarm and also that final bracket. And then I'll put the external insulation on. I'll make a video as I do it and I'll post it up here as soon as it's done.